Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about The Real Housewives of New York. Bethany Frankel claps back at Ramona and Luann, plus Shannon Bador shunned by Tamara Judge, plus Megan Edmonds petty gym diss. Okay guys, let's talk about my housewife news today. These women are getting petty, 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 okay? They must be getting bored or something. You know, cooped up in the house all this time. They are acting like a bunch of three-year-olds, okay? And I'm loving every single minute of it. I told you guys I'm warped. Plus, I'm bored. I'm extra warped when I'm bored. I love every sig single minute of it. Let's start with the pettiest one of them all. That would be Megan Edmonds. She's petty slash scary. She's starting to scare the hell out of me, people. I got to keep it real. I have to keep it real. Okay, so we know ever since her and Jim announced their divorce, Let's just be real, okay? Megan has had it out for Jim, okay, people? And I'm starting to get worried, okay? She's not letting it go. She went on every outlet there was to talk about him like a dog. You guys remember, she outed him for cheating with her good friend. And you just can tell she has it out for Jim. Jim, okay? I'm starting to get scared. This might end up in jail or anything. I'm, I'm getting scared of Megan. And she's showing absolutely no signs of letting down, okay? We all know on Sunday, she uh, put this TikTok video up, and it kind of made me laugh, even though it's petty as hell. But, you know, I'm petty, too. I loved it. Take a look. Got a text from my ex the other day. He said he missed me. I said, I'm sorry I can't talk right now. I'm at a funeral. He said, oh, my God, who died? I said, my feelings for you did. Bye, fucker. <laughs> now, isn't that just petty and immature? Petty as hell. I mean, who has time to sit around and post TikTok videos? I don't second thought, you know, I take that back. I guess we all have time since no one was doing a damn thing and Megan made use of her time, okay? She wanted to make sure that he understood perfectly fine. This feud that we got going, uh-uh. It's not getting any better. I don't give a damn if we got children or not. Don't those kind of divorces scare you when the person is so upset they don't care about the kids, they just want revenge? I can't wait till she goes after all of his money. It's going to be amazing, okay? I'm bored. What can I say? Now, usually, people, I would expect anybody with half of a brain cell, you don't even have to have a whole brain cell, Jim, just a half, to ignore this. She is baiting you. You should ignore it, especially when you have the Rona. Did you guys know that Jim was sick? Yes, people. He has the thing I can't say. I call it the Roma, Rona. He's very, very sick. Um, he, got te he tested positive for it. So he should be somewhere taking care of himself, okay? Not sending his representatives to reply to Megan's petty TikTok video. But he did, I guess, you know... <laughs> in between getting sick and you know he has time for this and this is what he had his representatives put out they said during the past few weeks we've seen celebrities use social media to bring people together and support one another apparently megan has taken a different path and instead decided to spew hate and anger she thinks she's funny i think it's pathetic and immature this is what jim's representative some guy named steve said while jim is battling the rona i mean this divorce is going to get insane megan shows no sign none of forgiveness letting it go being amicable for for the children i mean like i said before people this is the kind of divorce i love to report on i'm not letting this story go megan is out for blood okay you're not gonna cheat on her divorce her cheat with her good friend at that and she's not gonna say anything about it mm -mm. she's getting dangerously vindictive people i'm loving every minute of i i really am you know i kind of hope she puts up more tiktok videos is that bad <laughs> i'm just as petty as megan but no really megan is really showing no signs of showing any kind of forgiveness i'm saying she's got it probably a good 10 years before she decides to simmer down just a little bit? That's just my opinion. Now let's move on. Next, let's move on to my fave, Shannon Bedore. You guys know I love Shannon Bedore. And you guys know that she has been shunned, okay, people? Just like the Amish people. Shunned by Tamara and Vicky because she made amends with um, Kelly Dodd, okay? And they are pissed at her. They're not talking to her anymore. They shunned her, okay? I mean, just like she was Amish. It doesn't make any sense. 
It's not her fault that you two went and got yourselves fired and then with Tamara rehired just for a couple episodes. It's not her fault. You cannot expect my fave, Shannon, to go into the lion's den of Kelly Dodd alone with no support and get attacked every day because she's still filming with them and you guys are off in the sunset, you know, spewing because you're still pissed because you guys got fired and then for you, Tamara, rehired for a couple episodes. I think it's so ridiculous that they're doing this to Shannon. I mean, come on. If she wants to make up with Kelly, let her make up with Kelly. What does it have to do with you? Absolutely nothing. This is all an individual relationship. Your relationship with Kelly is separate from Shannon's relationship with Kelly. They are acting like two three-year-olds, okay? Two bitter three-year-olds, and they're very upset. And up until now, my fave, who likes to rise above it, Shannon really does. I like Shannon Bedore a lot. She's my fave. Uh, has not made a comment on it. But, you know, she's been in the house, like the rest of us, going stir-crazy. And she took to, um, what was it? L Instagram Live? Not Facebook. Instagram Live. She took to Instagram Live. And she tried not to talk about it. But it's like the elephant in the room. People are going to bring it up. And so that's what people did. And so this was the question that she was asked. She said, someone said, Tamara said that you two haven't spoken very much. And uh, Shannon's reply is, no, we haven't, dot, dot, dot. I don't know what's happening, dot, dot, dot. It is what it is, exclamation point. You guys, they're not talking to her. It's so unfair. I agree with Shannon. If they want to act like that, let them. They're two, three-year-olds at their best, acting petty and immature. And so Shannon doesn't have time for it. Shannon has a job, okay? She didn't get fired like you guys. She has to start filming when filming resumes. And she's got a new boyfriend. She's in love. She does not have time for the pettiness. And if you guys remember, she was good friends with Kelly Dodd during their divorce. Both of them got divorced around the same time and they leaned on each other. So, you know, Tamara's being absolutely ridiculous and so is Vicky. So do you, Shannon, and move on. Congrats to Shannon, my fave. She, doesn't she always handle things so mature? Now let's move on. Now let's talk about Bethany, Franco, Ramona, and Luann. Now if you watched a video I made, oh, probably a couple weeks ago, because this actually started before last week's episode premiered. And I was talking about how happy Luann and Ramona sounded. They started giving interviews, people, before the premiere premiered, okay? Sounding so happy that Bethany Frankel was gone. And Ramona, I think Ramona was the worst. She was saying things like, I'm glad she's gone. Oh, well, you know, what a betrayal. You know, now we can be ourselves again. Oh, the set is so much happier with now that she's gone. You know, nag, 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 nag. Like, just overjoyed that she's gone. Now, we all know that secretly behind the scenes that she's glad that Bethany's gone because that money, remember that uh, Bethany's salary? Ramona tried to ask for more money because she knew that they had more money to spend now that Bethany Frankel was gone and they were paying Bethany a lot of money. Remember, she always just wanted the number one spot. Let's just be real. Ramona wanted to be Bethany Frankel. It is what it is, people. I said it, I said it because it's the truth. You know, no shade to Ramona, but you know, you were jealous hearted and you've always wanted to be number one and you didn't like the fact that the show kind of centered around Bethany, and you really hated the fact that Andy, K Andy Cohen's favorite was Bethany, people. They used to hang out. They were friends, okay? It's no getting around it. I always feel that Ramona was jealous, so she just let her jealousy just run rapid with joy. And uh, Luann did too. Luann was saying, I think she straight out said, I'm glad she's gone. Luann actually said it, okay? So they did the interviews saying how happy and overjoyed they were. And then if you've seen last week's season premiere, they were not holding back again. And I was like, ooh, you know what? They're acting too happy. This might come back and bite them because at the end of the day, we got to deal with reality, you two. You two like to go into the little land of delusions. I like to stay on planet Earth, okay, and deal in reality. And we all know. The only reason Bethany Frankel is gone from that show is because she wants wanted to be gone, okay? Andy Cohen publicly wants her back. He says it all the time. Oh, we're like the mob. You know, she can always come back. It's only one way in and no way out or whatever he was saying. He wants her back on that show. He put a big ad in the paper about her philanthropy. 
He likes Bethany Frankel. You like who you like, people. He likes Bethany Frankel. If she pick up the phone tomorrow and they were dead in the middle of filming, Andy would like tell Luann and Ramona to beat it because Bethany's coming over. <laughs> He really would. He just likes who he likes. And for some reason, Bethany Frankel's personality meshes well with Andy Cohen. Okay. And, you know, Ramona has the uh, reputation of being a complainer and being cheap. And so now Bethany is finally talking about last week's episode in which she thought about it. She says, the beginning of the show was the proverbial middle finger to me. And the women have definitely had some unpleasant things to say about me. But I wish them all well. Aw, look at Bethany Frankel taking the high road, only to follow up with the low blow. So last week, the season premiere was the lowest ever in the Housewives of New York history. And she had to comment on it. She said maybe it was because they're not inspiring. You see what I mean? I like her low blows. You know what I mean? Listen, these women better be careful of Bethany Frankel. She's not going anywhere. They're going to run into her one day or even worse, she's going to be back on that show and she's going to annihilate these people with her tongue. Because, you know, she's acting like she's a new and improved Bethany. Now we all know that you have a razor sharp tongue and you will definitely be using it against these women, at least in my opinion. Okay, you guys, that's all the housewives news I have for you today. So what I want to know in my comments section, I want to know a lot of things. Do you guys think uh, Megan Edmonds is getting too angry and not letting go during this divorce and number two what do you guys think about Tamara Judge shunning my fave Shannon and then number three who thinks that without a doubt Bethany Franco will be back on the Real Housewives of New York eventually also if you like this video don't forget to click that like button if you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys on the next video bye